Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle and styling guys. You guys know I do styling for corporate professional women so that they can get the job they've always been looking for and stand out in that boardroom. So I'm on my way out just to go do some errands and stuff and as I was going through my clothes I picked up my old army jacket and I started to think about age and style, right? And if you guys don't know, <laughs> I'm going to tell you my age. I am going to be 42 this year. And I don't think that age really matters when it comes to style, right? And what I mean by that is, now I'm not saying you can be out here any old kind of way. Because you, you really can, but it boils down to you being comfortable. And I personally think that the older you get, the more you really don't care about what people think about what you wear, right? So let's take, there's a young lady, uh, she's on YouTube, I think I've seen her on YouTube, and she's probably like 60 something, it's, it's two, it's two women. Um, actually it's three. Uh, and they're both, all three of them are like in their 60s, maybe 65 or something like that. And I'll tell you this, I think they're very, very, very stylish. Like, it, it's like they don't care what anybody says. They still wear leather jackets. Um, they still wear a denim jeans, you know. Um, I don't see any of them wearing, like, over-the-knee boots, but I do see them wearing, like, nice boots and stuff, right? Um, and I think that it's cool that they have embraced still current stuff and their unique style, right? So I don't think that your age really matters. Now when it comes to wearing like tutus and stuff, that's a bit different, right? That's for like children. Um, but they do have tulip skirts for older people, right? Um, for adults, right? So if that's your thing, then you do that. But I personally don't think that it really should matter how old you are um, when it comes to style. Fashion is one thing where, you know, it's everything is being pulled from the fashion floors, the runways and stuff like that. So we see these things. Most of the stuff is not things that we can actually wear on a regular basis. Um, but your your job is to pull a little bit of inspiration from it and not really try to mimic what you see on the runway because like I said, it's not really things that you could actually wear, right? Some things are, but majority, no. So I don't think that your age should matter. I'll be 42. Um, I still like a mix of a lot of things, but I've always stuck to certain colors, and that's just because I am a warm type tone, um, summer, uh, warm type, warm seasonal type, um, autumn seasonal type, and I, for me, those colors suit me best. Um, for example, this jacket, greens are my color, and it's because I like to wear gold jewelry. I have some silver jewelry, but I it just doesn't look good on me. Like you know when something looks good on you and when it doesn't. Um, and the jewelry test is a really good way to look at it because you may have a neutral undertone, but you may have a little bit more of a, co like a cooler uh, seasonal type. So that silver will look much better on you. I just don't like it. It just does not, it don't, I tried it many different ways. It just don't work. Even, I'll tell you guys this, even a jacket that has silver zippers, it does nothing for me. Like I always feel like it needs to be either gunmetal, dark or black, right? Um, or gold. Uh, it's just something that I know that suits my body or well, my, my tone. So, so even though I'm getting older, I still like to incorporate some things that I actually love from like way, way back. Like leather skirts, I love leather skirts. I don't care, I love leather jackets. Um, I love certain boots with strings, certain things I just love. Just because I'm getting older doesn't mean that I have to completely stop wearing it or even stop wearing a jacket like this, right? Um, you can dress this up and you can dress this down. Today I'm actually gonna wear this dress down. I'm gonna put on some, probably some motorcycle boots or something and I'm out the door with a cute little bag, right? So, if you are my age, 40 and up, and you are wondering if you can still wear certain things that you wore before, you can. You know, let your, you wear the clothes, the clothes don't wear you. So if you are a person who likes 
let's just say a romantic style like flowers and you know like you know nice fit silhouettes and stuff like that then so be it it doesn't mean because you're getting older you have to change or if you are a person who is super casual and just because you're getting older they want you to wear now these freaking square toe shoes <laughs> and like these mom jeans with like oversized sweat you don't have to do that because you're not going to be happy in it and, and again like i said i think the older you get the more you just don't care what people think right on how you dress you're comfortable in it if you're dressed up if you're dressed out if you wear a moto jacket moto boots you're comfortable in it and you pretty much don't care what anybody you first of all you have lived okay so you really don't care what others think now when it comes to the younger generation i do think that they are um a lot more easily influenced to do what they see instead of trying to create their own unique personal style which is where we want to be because here's the thing we have four color types meaning seasonal type winter spring summer fall a lot of us are probably in the warm type but it doesn't necessarily mean that we're actually going to dress the same we may not pick the same colors out of this this color series right so in the style so it still boils down back to your personal style so i don't think again that your age should matter and comment below if you think that because you're getting older that someone told you before that you have to start dressing a certain way or the infamous you need to dress your age right um you still have to have class when you're doing stuff i don't care that's one thing i'm always gonna push i don't care if you wear mini skirts body con dresses leggings all the time whatever you always want to give off some bit of class personally now we have styles where it's very creative right or dramatic you could say now i would say creative right um and i'm gonna use tiana taylor for an example that look is not like a classy look right it's just more of a in your face so that's something different that is her style rihanna has this style but rihanna switches it up quite a lot one minute you'll see her in a dress next minute you'll see her with some baggy pants right um and it's the same for let's say tracy ellis ross um and even freaking kim kardashian right one minute you see her in a dress, next minute you see her in some oversized moon boots, right? <laughs> it's just their style, right? And you don't have to stick to one particular style, but I do feel like you can mix a few of them in there and get creative with your look and don't let anybody stop you and judge you for dressing a certain way because you are a certain age. Women of a certain age can do what the heck they want to do, all right? So you guys may not think that I'm old, <laughs> but... 42, whew, just saying it, I've lived, okay? I've seen a lot in fashion. Um, back in my era, it was different, right? And a lot of the stuff is coming back now, so I know that what we had back then is still popping because they're recreating the stuff now, right? Just stuff from the 80s, stuff from the 90s. Um, even people are buying vintage stuff more and more and more because back then, the quality was better. The styles were better, the fits were better. So take this with a grain of salt. If you are getting up there in age, I'm just gonna put the air quotes. Don't care what anybody says about how you're dressing. Um, if you feel good in it, just wear it. When it comes to hair and stuff, maybe that's what I draw, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> Cause I do feel like your hair is something that can change your outfit, right? So when it comes to color and stuff, I, I'm I'm not really for like the loud colors, but I will say this, I love when I see women, and I don't even know if it's, it's not a certain age because I know some people gray are earlier than others, but when I see women with gray hair, like a full silver fox hair, it's so beautiful to me. Like I feel like it makes them look freaking 10 years younger. And when they embrace it, it's like the best, best thing. There's a lady on Instagram. Is it Instagram? I think so. And she has like gray in the front, right? On the top and then the bottom is like brown. And she did a reel and she was just saying, you know, she's not gonna dye her hair. Cause someone was like, you need to dye the rest of your hair to match the bottom. Meaning for her to take away her gray. 
but to be honest it was a very like cool look because it was brown at the bottom it was like an ombre so her gray was coming but i think it was really pretty so she didn't care because guess what she's a woman of a certain age and she was like screw you and she's gonna leave her hair like that and she looks good with it so don't let people change your mind on what you're trying to do with your style and even if you're trying to change your style when you're getting older right maybe you want to just because they might say oh you're going through a midlife crisis or whatever whatever right whatever it is that you want to do just do it feel good doing it and make sure you're comfortable in whatever it is that you are wearing guys so i just wanted to come over here and chit chat with you guys really quick about that before i head out the door and if you guys would love to see and hear more tips on fashion even with corporate styling head over to my instagram at coco styles ny and my blog coco styles nyc and my website coco styles ny and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and i will see you guys in the next one bye